Yellowstone quite a few times and we do the normal figure eight route that everybody else does and the problem with that is there's so many crowds the the traffic is insane so Gail and I made a decision that we would really research and find the unique out of the way places and it's going to start today with this place right here this is an offshoot about probably only about a mile drive and it's on top overlooking all of Lake Yellowstone Hope that you enjoy the video of all just the unique kind of out of the out of the way spots that we find. So one of the problems of just being in the park during its probably most popular time. During a pandemic when that's all anybody else could do is be outside. That's so true. We kind of knew that going up ahead of time is that it's going to be really busy because this is about all you can do, you know. Um, but one of the problems is that even if you're trying to escape the crowds, the crowds will find you. There is, everybody's trying to stop at a, at a location that we've already seen five or six different times. So we were gonna just go and buy it, but literally the line is probably, we're probably what, three miles away? And it's completely like, just crawling along. It's the Great Fountain Geyser and and there's nobody here. Not even maybe 10 people here. This is Firehole Lake. You can see that. See a little bit of a geyser right there blowing up. He was saying that unfortunately this one doesn't get as much attention because the bacteria. the bacteria is actually brown. So it's not as pretty as the reds and the blues of the other ones. But as you can see, I count six people here. That might be a reason to come. Okay, so below me is all the hot springs right here. And then that's actually Mammoth Hot Springs, the town. And we've been through here two or three times and never been up here. And thankfully we have a, a, a guide on that I downloaded onto my phone that plays through our Bluetooth in our car that uh, is kind of like our own personal guide. <laughs> And he's playing, uh, it kind of told us about this and we found it. This is, uh, this is incredible, it's beautiful. I've never seen this before. Just ahead is a clearing and parking for Angel Terrace. It's a favorite terrace on the upper loop for its white color, but also a colorful display caused by microorganisms from its active times. The spring that feeds Angel Terrace is unpredictable and has been active again after a long period of being dry. We've seen many examples around the upper terraces of how the travertine material builds up by turning solid after cooling. In some active places, the buildup can be as much as a foot per year. That's why coming back to Yellowstone after many years might look quite different to how you remember it.
This is for thin crust. So there are a few people here, but a whole lot less than normal. This is the uh, the basin of the West Thumb Basin. And uh, there's just a lot of bunch of pools like this, really hot, hot pools. See that water? I do see that water. <laughs> I think there's snakes in there. side of the road coming up. The road through the canyon section has been widened several times, and each time the road is repositioned, this 23-ton lump of rock is picked up and moved to where the new edge of the road is located. <laughs> yeah. The steep cliff drop-off on the side of the road is a little unnerving, but I'm thankful for how the road has been engineered here today. If we were visiting in the late 1800s, there was only a very unconvincing wooden trestle bridge that was attached Jeez. to the side of the cliff. Of course, visitors then toured slowly in horse-drawn carriages. So
So this is the wildest thing, is to see all of these bison migrating across the street. So, like I was saying earlier, they just keep going across the street, but there's a lake over there, or a river, I guess, and they're going to the water. So, this is the Continental Divide on the way to uh, Old, Faithful. Old Faithful, and one of the things they said was so interesting is that if the water supposedly, quote unquote, if the water falls on the east side of this Continental Divide, it'll end up in the Atlantic. If it falls on the west side, supposedly, it'll end up in the Pacific. <laughs> I don't know about all that. But in the meantime, we've got frogs and lily pads. Boom. There you go. <laughs> This is a trailhead that we're on right now, just south of the Cascade Falls. There's hardly nobody here. Um, this might be a great area to bring your bear spray. But what I just love the peace, the beauty, and very few people here right now. Unbelievable. gonna walk this little grassy trail right through here soft really wet ground <clears throat> right out to the water and right over the falls seems like great berry bushes Really great place for bears. <laughs> Just saying. Really love this soft ground. These big pine trees. This is beautiful. One of the things that Gail was talking about while we were walking is, listen how quiet it is. That's one thing, if you stay on the route, on the major route, it's very noisy with all the people, all the cars. That's the only thing I've heard, well, I just heard a big truck right there. <laughs> but about the only thing you can hear out here is the occasional grasshopper or fly buzzing around your head. But even the bugs aren't bad at all. I haven't noticed any, um, you know, like mosquitoes or anything. Gail did get a bite on the back of her leg, but I kind of think it's from a, it was from a, a horse fly. Because it's huge. What? I said yay. <laughs> but that's, uh, other than that, we've been, we haven't put anything, any kind of deet on or anything. This has just been blissful for sure
So it's pretty cool actually. So because we parked in the trailhead parking lot and not the Cascade Falls parking lot, we found this little cut through from that parking lot and we just kind of honestly followed the uh, sounds. Look, Gail, there's the geyser going right now. You can see the geyser blowing, Old Faithful is blowing from here right now. I don't think I, you'd be able to see it with the camera. But we followed the sound of the falls and came out on this ledge right here. It's just amazing perspective of the actual waterfalls, the Cascade waterfalls. And then directly in front of us, you can see by a pluff, a ploof of steam, and I saw the actual water. That's Old Faithful right in front of us. That's just this incredible scene right here. Amazing. You see? Oh my gosh, it's huge. So yesterday, that's where we were standing when we filmed all the buffalo, all the bison through this valley. So we're standing in the direction where we were shooting most of the bison video now. And then right over there is where they were all headed. You can't really see it in the film, but that's a big lake right there that Gail's walking towards. This is where the buffalo lay down and kind of take dirt baths. It's like a perfect circle. 